Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, in this video, we're going to briefly discuss restaurant, alcohol, and tobacco licensing in the kingdom. Um, basically, those who are looking to do business in Thailand in the form of a restaurant or bar, uh, really anything in the F&B industry, uh, this is probably a video to at least gain a little bit of insight. I'm not going to go into total detail on how this stuff works, but there are some rather interesting recent developments with respect to these topics, and it's worth, uh, it's worth discussing. Um, so basically, what are they? Uh, obviously, alcohol license sort of speaks for itself. It's like a liquor license in the United States, uh, or what we would call in the U.S. a liquor license, but they're basically the same thing, an alcohol license, a license to serve alcohol. Um, the other thing is a tobacco license. This is a little bit more interesting. Um, it is at least ostensibly a license to sell tobacco. But what's also interesting, excuse me, about a tobacco license, uh, a tobacco licensing, is where there's sort of doubt on an enforcement level as to whether or not somebody actually purchased the tobacco they're smoking on one's premises within those premises. Um, it can create problems uh, for a proprietor if they've got someone smoking on their premises and the various you know, authorities show up, police show up and say, where's your tobacco license? And they say, well, we don't have a tobacco license, we don't sell tobacco. Well, that person over there is smoking. How do we know they didn't buy it here? Okay, um, I'm not saying this happens frequently, but it's not impossible for that to occur. So, for this reason, a tobacco license is, is a pretty recommended thing to just have in, in order to sort of forestall those kind of confusing situations, which can lead to problems and which can lead to uh, legal issues with respect to, you know, the possibility that an inspector basically says, look, I just don't buy it. I think that that individual bought that product here. I'm going to go ahead and write up a citation for that. Um, or just the mere act of having to deal with you know, communicating to the officer the situation, um, it's oftentimes just easier to be able to just flash the license. Here, here it is. I've got it. Or have it posted on the wall. There's my tobacco license. I don't sell tobacco, but there you go. Um, the other thing is, is the so-called restaurant license. Uh, I, I often refer to this as a health and sanitation license. It's basically a license that says that a, an establishment has met the requisite sanitation standards in order to be a food service establishment. Um, this will require a certain amount of inspection from the health ministry. Uh, but again, for all, all of these processes are fairly straightforward. Um, in another video on this channel, we're, we do discuss uh, recent speculation regarding the increase in liquor excise taxes here in Thailand. Another thing to keep in mind is within the same tranche of laws that have come into effect or that are coming into effect being promulgated as of the time of this filming, um, there is speculation that the licensing fees associated with alcohol tobacco licenses and possibly restaurant licenses uh, may be subject to increase in the fairly near future. Um, so it's possible that we're going to see some fee increases with respect to alcohol and tobacco licensing. Um, as of yet, it's my understanding that such fee increases, whatever they may be, are not going to come into effect for at least a little under 180 days from about the time of this uh, filming and publication, maybe more like 175 day, no, let's call it about 165, 160 days from the time that this video is published. I think it's, it's pretty fair to, to assume that there's going to be an increase in alcohol and tobacco licensing fees. That being said, um, again, legal professionals, we handle such matters fairly frequently, at least the Thai staff here does. Um, they're usually relatively straightforward, but that being said, uh, it does require a fairly, fairly high level of documentation. Um, there's some evidentiary proof that needs to be provided. And with the, in the instance of the quote-unquote restaurant license, um, an inspection by the health ministry may be required. And some of our, uh, some folks basically like to have somebody on hand to sort of liaise with those folks um, in order to maintain uh, good relations, A, with the ministry, and, you know, if there are any questions regarding uh, means and methodology of production of food, whatever, uh, it's always a good idea to have somebody who can concisely and clearly explain the overall situation.